Here we go, the magnificent common milkweed. You know we all love this plant. Of course, I mean, we're known as the common milkweed. And that is not because we think we are the common milkweed. It's just the. <laughs> and that's a tribute to how much we love this plant. Now, we get asked a lot if common milkweed is invasive. Well, first off, let's say we don't ever use the term invasive towards native plants. We will say that for non-native plants that really take over an area and then decrease the biodiversity of an area. If certain native plants are really strong, we will maybe sometimes call them aggressive. And that is valid. Are, is common milkweed aggressive? Well, it depends at what stage you're at, I think, in the area that you're rewilding or in a natural area. We've had some very interesting experiences here. When we first moved here, common milkweed was very abundant in two spots. One, over here in front of our house, in a bed that's right next to our house and then out in the old field there was one area that was growing up from European grasses and they were very abundant there and that's partly due to their rhizomatous nature so the way they spread the way their roots grow and I'll put a link at the end of the video to one of the roots we found in a growing bed it's so cool well let me tell you something we planted that big root and they didn't come up because common milkweed is kind of particular in our experience. They really love sunshine and they don't like a lot of competition from certain types of plants. So here what we see is that common milkweed has faded out to the extreme to where if they're popping up in a, a pathway, we're gonna flag them and keep them. <laughs> yeah, that's how uncommon they are here now. Where we see them most commonly around us are the roadsides and farm field edges. And the roadsides are mowed, so clearly they like other plants knocked back. They like to come up in these mowed areas. And around the farm fields, they like them because those farm fields get sprayed and so there's also little competition. Both are problematic because at some point, the roadside mowing crews are gonna mow once the milkweed is tall. And then usually all of the insects that love milkweed are on them. And that includes the monarch caterpillars. And so everybody gets mowed and then the farmers at some point are going to put insecticides down to protect the crops, the food that many people eat or animals eat, and that will also kill any of the insects that are on the common milkweed. So we need to find ways to grow common milkweed in other spots. Now we planted a new flower bed this year. Steve took out all of the vegetation and that is the one that's right by our house and guess what popped up everywhere? Yes, common milkweed seedlings. So the seeds had been in there the whole time just dormant until there was a big disturbance. So that seems to be one thing that common milkweed really benefits from, disturbance. We've found some different documents about mowing at certain times to promote common milkweed, but that hasn't worked here. That mowing is one we won't do at that time anyways, uh, unless we've really scouted an area because it is nesting season for birds. But our pathway mowing seems to be the right timing. So we are working to figure out how we can keep encouraging them. What we will do is obviously let all these grow and smell them as much as possible because their scent is fantastic 
Now I'm going to take us just right around this path here because I'm going to show you the other spot the common milkweed is coming up that is also in the path is not that front bed just imagine tiny little baby common milkweed seeds and so those seeds had just hung out in the soil that whole time it's remarkable so disturbance would come via mowing or fire or large herbivores eating a lot of plants around them now look at this it now there's mixed in dog bane in here but check this out very strong common milkweed, Asclepius syriaca, right in the middle of our path. So we're not gonna mow those either. We have in here some flea bane, and in this area we have a lot of dog bane, some bergamot, and then right over here is more Asclepius. Syriaca, some more common milkweed. It's kind of a puzzle to us, y'all. So they seem to be able to compete well with those European grasses. Now, sometimes we do see them with the aggressive goldenrods, the tall, the giant, Canada, and they're fine. I'm not sure why. So do we think common milkweed is invasive? No. Do we think it is aggressive? Maybe sometimes, early on, especially if you're doing something that they love, like roadside mowing or spraying a farm field that promotes those disturbance and also the lack of competition. In other situations, I think you're gonna find out the common milkweed fades out. That's what we've found. If you have found a way to let common milkweed grow, to promote it growing, and to keep it very resilient, please let us know. We would love to know. And if you're one of those folks that have them abundant in a bed because you're weeding it a lot and you don't want it, then stop weeding it. And I bet you the common milkweed is going to fade away. But if you're one of those people and you decide to just embrace it, do it because you're so lucky. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.